In the East End, development is everywhere, but is it benefiting us? You may have seen changes going on in Shoreditch and Brick Lane. You may have heard of the Bishopsgate Goods Yard, but what's happening there? The Bishopsgate Goods Yard is a 10 acre site that's bigger than six full size football pitches. The land is public land, owned by Network Rail. Now, two developers, Hammerson and Ballymore, want to build a wall of giant towers. Eight towers from 50 metres to 180 metres high. That's a similar height to the Gherkin. These towers will cast long shadows over the area, blocking out light and warmth. This would be the view on Bethnal Green Road. And this would be the view on Shoreditch High Street. The Boundary Estate is England's first council estate. Light was an important part of its design. It was designed so sunlight could reach every single flat. In winter, the shadow of the towers will cover the Boundary Estate for most of the day. With more than 90% luxury flats and city offices, this development will not serve the pressing needs of the local area. It is not designed for the local community. Like Canary Wharf, it will be a private space. It will take away our light, it will push out local businesses and give nothing back. Developers are cashing in on the hard work and aspirations of the people of this area. The Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, has chosen to bypass the democratic process. At the request of the developers, Boris Johnson will decide whether the plans go ahead not Tower Hamlets or Hackney Councils. So one man will now decide on a planning application worth £800 million. Protest now before it's too late. Sign the petition to Boris Johnson on change.org. We need Mayor John Biggs of Tower Hamlets and Mayor Jules Pipe of Hackney to do all they can to stop these plans. Have your voice heard in the future of your area.